Hi, my name's Madison Fava. Um, I, my name, um, my, Madison, I don't know where's from. My parents just named me Madison because they liked it. But Fela, my last name I know is Italian. Um, my ethnic and cultural backgrounds, I was born and raised in the United States, um, but my ancestors are Italian. Um, I believe my great grandpa came over from Italy. Um, we don't really practice a lot of um, Italian culture. Um, I just know that we, yeah, my, our favorite food is pasta and we used to make pasta all the time and joke it was our Italian uh, heritage coming through, but we don't really practice a lot of Italian um, culture. Um, I speak English and my parents do as well. Um, my family is my mom, my dad, and my little brother. He's 17. Um, we grew up here in Omaha, Nebraska, haven't moved anywhere else. Um, and we, we kind of stick to ourselves as a family. We don't have much extended family that we talk with. So we do a lot of um, holidays on our own. We don't have, um, we don't have our extended family come for holidays or anything like that. It's just, just us four on our own a lot. So um, I would characterize my family as an individualist uh, group. We like to, my parents always wanted us to focus on our personal growth and um, making sure we achieve our personal goals and make sure you advocate for yourself, um, do what makes you happy, focus on yourself, that kind of things. They're very much, um, my dad always wanted to make sure we knew not to rely on anybody else. You are in charge of your own happiness, all that kind of stuff, so. Um, food items from our culture. Obviously, Italian pasta is a big one. Uh, we did make a lot of pasta growing up, but I don't think it was from, because we're Italian, I think we just liked it. But um, my mom made a lot of that, but then we also were um, not the wealthiest when I was younger. So she kind of made a lot of meals that involved whatever we had in the pantry. So a lot of meals with canned things, whatever she could throw into a pot and uh, make pretty quickly is whatever we had. Um, so I don't think we had a, a traditional culture guideline that we kind of followed. We just kind of ate whatever we had in the pantry. Um, I don't really have any, my favorite food is pasta. So that was I don't really have any favorite foods from other cultures. Um, my favorite holiday is probably, I don't know. I, I don't really like holidays that much just because we never really had a lot of family come and spend time. So they were always just kind of, I don't know, not very, if I had to pick one, I'd say, probably Thanksgiving would probably be my favorite just because um, we watched we watched football we we just kind of hang out at home do nothing um, my mom makes a Thanksgiving dinner for us four and that's basically it we just hang out and watch football so um that's yeah Thanksgiving we just have super low key, just hang out. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah, growing up here in my family, we we watched a lot of sports. Uh, I myself am not athletic at all, but my brother is, and so uh, he plays football. We kind our lives kind of revolved around football when I was growing up, and now we like to watch football Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, Thursday, every, almost every day of the week. So, um, 
we like to watch uh, the Atlanta Falcons, which they're not very good this year, but we also like Georgia Bulldogs for college football, but yeah, football is a big thing. Um, when I was a kid, we also had a lot of pets. We always had pets when I was growing up. So um, as soon as I moved on my own, I got my own dog, which he's going to be my my prop here. Come here, come here, Ollie. Hang on a little bit. Um, Okay, this is my dog, Ollie. Um, he, him and I kind of live on our own, do our own thing. Uh, but yes, when I was growing up, we had dogs. We always had dogs, hamsters. Um, pets were a big part of our family. So when I moved out, I definitely wanted to get my own dog. And so that was when I got him. Um, I think the, the biggest culture that I would like to learn more about is probably the Hispanic culture. Um, like I mentioned in my earlier discussion posts, I work in the ER at the Med Center and a large part of our patient population um, are Hispanic individuals and families. And you can usually tell when they come in for medical treatment that they're kind of uncomfortable. They don't know really what to expect. So I think if I learned more about their culture, I could help make them more comfortable. Um, Cause it's always, you know, whenever a patient feels more comfortable with you, they're more willing to communicate with you and tell you what's going on, what's wrong so that you can figure out how to help them. Um, so I think learning about their culture and being able to help make them more comfortable, um, I think is probably my biggest goal from this class. So um, thank you.